Hello guys, this is Rob with Tech. So today we're going to show you how to self-host our own nodes. So I found this Docker container. It's called a Trillium Next. Um, it's basically something similar to OneNote. Uh, so we'll go ahead and show you how it works. But for, uh, first of all, a uh, little background on this is that the original project was called Trillium. If you go here, there's a, the original one. Basically, it was being maintained by someone else, but then uh, you can pause the video if you want to read this, but basically they stopped maintaining it and now it was forked and now it's called Trillium Next. Now, to get this one installed as a Docker container, uh, we're going to use the, the Compose files for Docker. So when we go all the way down to installation, I mean, uh, what's it called documentation, you go over here to the doc repos. In here, you can find where is there have uh, the Docker server installation. You don't have to do this. You can just go to my GitHub. I'm gonna have the compose file there. So it's kind of a little confusing the way that they're that they have it orientated here because you have to do the Docker run, but they talk about how you have to create a Mac VLAN. But you don't really need to do much of this. Um, I, I'll have a file where you can just copy it. The only thing that I do want to bring up here is they do warn you about using the latest tag. Um, because in case that there's like a minor version upgrade, it could potentially disrupt sync setups. So what we're going to do is we're going to just use the stable uh, flag. So we go here to Trillium Next, and then you can actually look into the tags here. And the one that I want to use is going to be stable. Uh, you can actually use that as the latest version. Like if you put this version, it will stay here, like it won't upgrade. Uh, but I'm just going to use stable. But you actually look at the the name on them. They're actually the stable. Uh, this version and the latest are actually the same ones. But for this example, I'm just going to use stable. So before we start, I just want to give you a quick recap. I'm using Open Media Vault. Um, if you're not familiar of the way that you set up, I have a, I'll leave a uh, link in the description on how to set up Open Media Vault. Because uh, here on storage, shared folders, I have this app data folder and this app data folder is basically a folder that it's uh, on my hard drive and then there's a data folder and then it's a Docker folder and then app data. Now this will make sense in a little bit. Uh, so once you create this app data and the compose folder is data Docker compose um, here on services, compose settings, uh, you would have to have here a shared folder it has to be compose. You have to have a folder in here. So this was a compose folder and then this was the app data. Now, by having this app data folder linked here, you can actually use this in front of your path in the Docker compose file. It will automatically put it into that app data folder. Now here on the owner, don't mess with this. I don't know why I have it on Robert, but usually this one's supposed to say root. You can, by default, it's going to be root root. So I, I would just leave this at root. Let me correct it. Okay, I'm just going to save this real quick. Now for, let me apply the change. For the compose file, like I said, I'm basically just going to copy it over. I already have it done. I have it created. Um, so we go here, files, and then we're going to do new or add. I'm going to go hit, call it. Really, I'm next. I'm not going to put in a description or I'll just copy the top. Now we'll just get the file pasted in here. Now I'll go over this. Uh, if you have Open Media Vault, this is what I was talking about, the app data folder. Uh, so this will automatically put uh, put it into that path, the app data. And then I'm just going to add this name, Trillium Next. So you can create this folder and then it's going to create Trillium dash data. Now, anything on the left side, this is your host. Uh, anything on the right, that's what gets mapped inside the Docker container. Uh, if you're not using Open Media Vault, using Ubuntu or any other operating system, make sure that you correct this pass. If not, it's not going to work. Now, in this particular instance, um, like in in this test one that I have, this because this is my my YouTube test VM. 
I can't use port 88 is being used for something else. So that's why I have 8282. So it's basically to open media vault, you're going to go to the open media vault IP address, and then we're going to put this colon 8282. But in reality, the container inside is running 8080. Um, but basically you can just, if you're using open video, you can just copy this like this. Here we just have the, the image, which, which is the Docker container we're getting, which is, I said, we're doing the stable. And then this is just a container name. So this should be good. So we can just save. Every time I do save these files, I like to do a check on them. Okay. So it's like, if it's clear, then there's no syntax errors. So we should be able to start this. So now that it's running, we're just going to go open new tab. I'm going to do the IP address of this VM. This would be your IP address for your open media vault. And then I'm going to do 8282 because that's the port that we specified. Now here is the Trillium next node setup. Uh, but basically you, if you're a new user, plus you would just select the, the first one. So in my case, uh, I'm going to select, I'm a new user. It's going to ask me to create a password. All right, so let's log in. Now they do have a, a little demo here. See the Trillium demo in here. You have, well, this one's kind of really popular because it's a demo, right? But you have like, whenever you want to search for something, let's say you want to search for, um, I don't know, let's make it complicated. Uh, I, I guess here in the first one. Like let's say you're searching for this page cleanup, right? But you're like over here, you can click on this left side search note, and then you can just search right here and you do clean up. I should tell you exactly where you found it. And I mean, of course there's more instances of it. You, you'll see it in here. Uh, so it's really neat. So whenever, so this is the default one. So we can just go ahead and create our own, like in, it's not use this one. Let me close this. So in here, we can do the, we how do you, okay. Okay. So I was a little confused there. So here on the root, you do the positive. The, the plus sign, I mean, and you, you can create a new folder structure. So let's see, this is going to be your notes. Now you can type whatever you want in here. But then you can also do like, let's say, so now there's two in, in notes, you can go in there and create a child note. So let's say you have like notes and then this would be like OMV notes, right? Another thing that it supports that you can actually copy and paste pictures in there. Just, it works similar to uh, OneNote. So let me just go ahead and find a picture so I can just drag in there. Okay, so I couldn't drag it in. So I what I did is I just right clicked the picture and I copied it. And then you can just do a control V and you can paste the pictures in here. So that's pretty much it on this. I mean, you can also protect notes. Like let's say you want to encrypt this note. I think you can click up here. Uh, you can protect this note. So right now is use this thing uses um I think it's uh SQLite which basically is a non-encrypted uh, database, a simple database. Uh, if you do the protect node, then it will encrypt this particular node where you can encrypt from the top layer here. If you want to protect it, um, you won't be able to access it unless you put in your password. But if you go look at the database file, it will be scrambled or encrypted. Uh, there's more stuff in here, but I didn't mess with all of this. I just am using this part. Uh, let's see what else. Also, like if you tell that the the 
the way the contrast is, the background, the color on the letters. I personally like it better on the light theme. And I'm not going to change it because then I'll end up blinding some people. But uh, you can just mess around with this. Also, the password, I mean, the backups for the database, just in case you have, you need to restore this for whatever reason. Um, so this would, those, based on where you put the Docker container data, this is automatic backups. You'll be able to find them there. Now, right now, they're not there um, because it hasn't hit the daily, but if we do one, so it already created one. But basically, if you go into the path where we have the, the data for this, you'll find that backup file there. But well, thank you guys. That will be all for this video. Just a quick video on showing you about Ternilium Next. Uh, if you guys have any video suggestions, let me know uh, so I can start working on those. I'm planning on doing the Nginx Proxy Manager on the oncoming video. Uh, but let me know if something else you guys are interested in. Uh, thank you, everyone. Really appreciate the support. Like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you.